Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. I am dealing with my first major problem with my reef tank. My fish got white spot disease and that is meaning that they got uh, peak. I know that there was a problem ever since I got home my powder blue tank and that fish was uh, scratching uh, from the sand and from the rocks but uh, it didn't uh, have any peak signs, it didn't have any white spots on him and uh, my other fish didn't have any problems. So this continued until I brought home my yellow tank over there which my Scopas tanks was uh, chasing him around the tank which created a lot of stress for my fish especially for my uh, my Scopas tank which now it's not it's no longer the dominating uh, dominating fish in my tank because the yellow tank uh, took over and because of that stress from uh, the fighting and chasing uh, in the aquarium, my Scopas tank uh, developed uh, white spot disease. You can, I can see uh, like little white spots, like sugary, like grains of sugar on, on the fish. And after that, I can see the same problem with my, uh, my blue tanks and actually my yellow tank has white spot disease also and this is a major problem for me it wasn't a major problem when when i had in this tank uh, freshwater fish because i always used molecules green to treat uh, white spot disease it was working uh, pretty well i have right over here this is a 30 ml uh, container of uh, Malachite Green. It's very cheap here in, in my town. It costs about uh, $1 and I can treat with uh, this uh, 30 ml container. I can treat 300 liters of water. So 300 liters of water with only $1. Very cheap and very effective. Uh, effective. Malachite Green works great in uh, freshwater aquariums but I do not know if it, it is uh, compatible with reef aquariums I don't know if I am going to dose this into my tank what is it's going to happen with uh, my, uh, my corals and my uh, and my uh, starfish I don't want my starfish to die because they are, I have three of them and they are really beautiful. So I, I can't really find anything that I can treat peak here in my country. Uh, I cannot remove the fish from my uh, main display tank. I do not have a quarantine tank, or I do have one, but it's more it is only a 60 liter tank. So I'm seriously thinking of uh, dosing 30 milliliters of molecule green in my main display I'm going to turn off the skimmer and remove the activated carbon from the sump and hope for the best uh, I'm going to think about it maybe I'm going to wait to see if uh, the white spot disease uh, affects all my fish or my fish are uh, getting all covered in a white spot I know that sometimes fish can uh, withstand the white spot disease or they can get immunity to peak I don't know if I want to risk that because there is definitely a time limit on uh, how and where you can uh, treat and 
I do not want to to go over that time limit because when a fish really becomes infected with wet fly disease, it's covered in ick. Uh, you can dose and uh, eliminate ick, but the fish will die because the infection was too severe for that fish to handle. And I did order online some uh, GPL punctol plus something like that. It doesn't say that it's reef friendly, but it doesn't say that it's not. It has small acid green, the same like this one, is uh, in, in that, and also it has uh, methylene blue, another dye that is used to to fight against uh, fungus and infection uh, in the fish tank. I already have malachite green here, one dollar for this uh, container, and I already have uh, metal and blue for the drugstore, cheap. I don't know what to do. Uh, they could uh, stain permanently, stain my rocks into blue. I don't want that. But I don't want my fish to die, I don't want my starfish to die, and I really don't know what to do. Maybe I'm just going to wait one or two days to see if the white spot disease progresses longer than that. And if it does, I will have no choice but to tweet my, uh, my fish into my tank with molecule green. So we're just going to see what is going to be happening uh, from this day forward. So wish me luck guys and I'm just going to keep you updated with my with me facing my really the first problem that I have with since I have started uh, moving my freshwater tank to this uh, saltwater tank because I have never really uh, cured it in salt water aquarium. So I hope that I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm just going to wait a little for now. Okay guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.